Originally crafted from stone by the Greeks, finials are still on top. Perched on peaks and gables, these roof ornaments are a crowning touch to any structure. They can make even an ordinary home look a little more grand. And after all, every home is someone's castle. On many structures, finials still rule the roof and give people a reason to look up. The design of these roof ornaments usually reflects the style of the building and the owner's taste. They're often custom made for the client and entirely handcrafted. To make a copper finial, the artisan first draws the design on paper. Like many finials, this one will have a point, a central orb, and skirting. Once the design has been approved by the client, he draws larger versions of it onto poster board. They'll serve as templates for the copper parts. Here, he draws the patterns for the elaborate scroll work. To execute the design, he gets creative. He uses copper refrigerator tubing to make the scroll work. It's malleable and can easily be shaped. He positions a pipe cutter device at the cut line. The device grips the tubing but can still be turned to cut the pipe cleanly at the desired location. He flattens one end with a sledgehammer so it can be tucked into a groove in this large PVC plumbing pipe. With the end secured, he physically bends the copper tubing around this pipe to give it the desired curvature. He compares the curvature to that of the pattern and makes adjustments. He continues shaping the pipe, now using only the scroll work pattern as a guide. He'll make several of these copper scroll work parts for one roof ornament. With an etching tool, he now traces the shape of the skirting pattern onto copper roof sheeting. He cuts reference points for the bends and removes the pattern. He then extends the bend lines with the etching tool. He now cuts out the skirting part with standard hand shears, following the etched outline. One last trim along the edge and the skirting is ready for the sheet metal bending machine. He clamps it into place and pulls a handle to apply hydraulic pressure and bend the part along the etched lines. He repositions the skirting and bends it at the next etched marking point. He continues until there are six evenly spaced folds in the copper. This transforms it into a hexagonal pyramid. To seal it where the ends meet, he prepares the surface. He applies an acid called flux to clean the copper. He ignites the torch and melts solder into the seam. The solder is half lead and half tin and provides a good seal. He sands the soldered seam against a fine abrasive belt to blend it with the copper. The finial skirting is now complete. He drills holes into a hollow copper orb. He slides the orb onto a long copper spike that's been installed in the base. He cleans the copper where the two parts meet and solders them together. He adds a second smaller orb further up and the extravagant scroll work. He now solders the spiked cap to the finial. This adds height and drama to the rooftop ornament. This finial is now complete and ready for high places. Making one has truly been a pinnacle achievement.